Hey, suppose one day you want to send a URL to your friend, but the URL is too long. Or you want to send a short link of your Instagram or any other social media or any other link. So what will you do? Exactly, you will use a URL shortener. So what does a URL shortener do? In one word, it shortens the URL. It basically takes your long URL address and converts it into a short length URL address. Now you will ask how this works. Wait, wait. No, I am not going to tell this in this video because it will make the video lengthy. I will provide the links where you can find the answer to your questions. If you still want to know about it, then comment down below. Maybe I will make another video on this. So now you will ask, what is this video for? Today we are going to build a URL shortener website using simple HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And also we will learn how we can use an API to shorten a URL. So turn on your computer and let's get started. At first open VS code and click on the open folder button. Now you go to the directory where you want to save your project and create a folder. You can name it whatever you want. I am going to name it URL shortener. Now right click on this and click open with code. It will open this folder in VS code. Now create a index.html file. Now in this file, type exclamation and hit enter. It will generate a template web page. Now click on this go live button. If you have installed live server, then it will open this HTML page in your browser and it will show the changes every time you save the file. If you don't have installed the live server, then go to this extension tab, search for live server. Then click on the install button and restart your VS code. Mine is already installed so I close the window and let's start our build. Now create a div and give it a class and class name. In this div add an input element with a text type and also give it an id. In this text field we will put our long url. Now create a button element named it shorten and also give it an id. When we click on the button, it will short our URL. Now add another text field where the short URL will be displayed. I am also going to add a copy button. It will copy our short URL into our device clipboard. I am also add a P tag and name it URL shortener. So that's it. The basic structure of our website is ready. Now let's design this using CSS. Let's create a file and named it style.css. After creating the file, we have to link this file in our HTML file. So go to the HTML file and under head tag, write link colon CSS and hit enter. In href, we have to give the path of our CSS file. Now let's start designing. I am going to give a 0 pixel padding and 0 pixel margin all over. Also I am going to give a nice background color to the website body. Now design the main div. At first I am going to add a background color so I can identify the div. Later I will change the color. Now center the div and also give it a nice rounded border. Now I will center all the elements inside the div and also make sure that it looks good. I also use the Chrome's inspect tools to determine the position and the pixel values correctly. I am going to add some paddings in the text fields and also add a rounded border. Again, you can design this website however you want.
Now for the copy button, I am going to use an icon. So for adding icons, first go to Google and search Google icons. Click on the first link. Now search for copy. You can choose any of these icons. I am going to use this one. Now scroll down below and you will find a link. Now in order to use this icon, we have to link this URL into our HTML file. So copy this link and paste it into the HTML file under head tag. Now under inserting the icon, copy this and paste it in the HTML file between the copy button element. Now save the file and you will see a copy icon in the copy button. After adjusting the position, our copy button is ready. I also add some hover effect to the buttons. Finally our design part is completed, now it's time to make this website working. I mean let's program this in JavaScript. Let's create a file and give it a name. Now go to the JS file and here first I am going to target the shorten button. So write let btn equal to document.getElement by id and give the element id. As we click the shorten button, it will take the long URL from the long URL text field and it will show the short URL in the below text field. In order to do that, I am going to write btn.addEventListener. When we click the button, it will call a function named short. Now let's define the short function. In the short function, I am going to target the long URL text field. Now write let long URL equal to document.getElement by id and I am going to pass the id of the long URL text field. Also write dot value to save the long URL in this variable. Now if we console log the long URL variable, then we can see the text field value when we press the shorten button. Let's see. Wait, no, it's not working. In order to work, we have to link the JS file into our HTML file. Go to the HTML file and in the body tag, write script colon src and hit enter. You have to give the JavaScript file path in src. Now it's working. In order to shorten the URL, I am going to use an API. Go to Google and type shrtco.de and hit enter. You will see a website like this. Now click on the developer API and scroll down below. Now copy this API link and paste it in your JS file. In JavaScript, we can fetch data from APIs. In order to fetch data from the API, I am going to use fetch keyword and within bracket pass this API link. Also keep this link within backticks. Now instead of this example URL, we are going to pass our long URL value. So it is after the URL equal to and here write long URL within string literals. I also save the fetch result in a result variable. Now write let data equal to result.json. So the API result will be shown in a JSON format. Now console log the data. Now let's test this. Ok, so it shows some error. Actually, when we fetch something, our JavaScript has to wait for the result and then execute rest of the program's logic. JavaScript by default synchronous in nature. In order to solve this issue, we have to make the short function asynchronous and also await the fetch method. Now write async in front of the function keyword. 
and add await keyword before the fetch and result.json. Now let's see if it is fixed or not. Yes, it's working. Now here you can see the result. If we open this, then we can see under result, there are short links. We can use any of these short links. I'm going to use this one. Now let's console log this and also check this link if it is working or not. Great, it is working. Now let's try another one. Again, it's working just fine. Now we have to show this result in this short URL text field. So let's do this. First I am going to target the short URL text field by its ID and save it in a variable. Then write short url dot value equal to data dot result dot short underscore link to. Let's test this again. Yes, it's working. Now we have to program the copy button. We can write it in this JavaScript file, but I am going to create another JavaScript file and program this into that file. So let's create a new JS file and named it copy.js In this, I am going to target the copy button by its id and save it in a variable. Now, when we click on the copy button, it will first select the text and also copy to the clickboard. In order to do that, I will write copy button dot on click equal to and then I create an arrow function. Now target the short URL text field by its id and save it in a variable. Now in the arrow function write new url dot select. In order to work this we again have to link this copy.js file in the html file. Now for copy to clipboard method I am going to write window dot navigator dot clipboard dot write text and in bracket write new url dot value. So let's test the entire website. Yeah, it's working fine. Now our website is almost done. Now let's add an icon to our website. You can download icons from Google or you can make your own. In order to link the icon, go to index.html file and under head tag type link colon fav icon and hit enter. In the href, we have to give the file path of our icon. And at last, I also give the website a title. And that's it. Yeah, you have just built a working URL shortener website. So that is it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or if I did something wrong, comment down below, let me know. And also check out the previous video where I built a calculator app. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also you can subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.